Hi, in this lesson six, we will learn about what are page views, bounce rate, exit rate, and many other elements which are very, very important in the study of Google Analytics. Now, page view is nothing but whenever a page loads, Google records it as a page view. Now, remember, every hit is not recorded as a page view hit. Why? There are different kinds of hits. Different kinds of hits include page view hit, event hit, e-commerce hit, non-interactive hit, interactive hit. There are many different types of hits. But every hit is not a page view hit. Only when a page loads and that page request or uh, sends a hit to server and these hits are recorded as a page view hit. Now, when you talk about page view, remember, one user, when they come to my site, they might go to multiple pages. That means one session can have multiple pages and one user can initiate multiple sessions. We have discussed in the last video what is a session and how Google calculates session and how Google puts all of those page views in one session. In this video, we will learn about page views and we will also learn about bounce rate and exit rate. Remember guys, if you ask 99% of people who work on digital marketing or who work on analytics, they think they know bounce rate, they think they know exit rate. But when you get into the textbook definitions of these things, 99% of the people give a wrong answer. Right? So watch this video. You would become better than those 99 people who think they know bounce rate and exit rate, but they actually know it wrong or they don't know exactly. Right? Continue to watch the practical demonstration. I would take you through the study. So you would have to understand or you would understand what it really about bounce rate and exit rate. In this study on bounce rate and exit rate, I would try to bust the myths that surround exit rate and bounce rate. There are a lot of videos already on YouTube, a lot of material, but what I really find is a lot of people who understand bounce rate and exit rate, they get it all wrong. Either they know it incorrectly or they actually don't know the right definition of it. So my whole point of creating this video is let's do some study on understanding these basic concepts because this is what's going to help us build our foundation strong, right? Now, so when a visitor visits our site, the page view hit happens right and that is called as page view right so whenever a user visits our site and the request is sent from the browser to the server the browser will record something as page view right now a session can consist of multiple page views multiple hits now what is a bounce is bounce is a session with only one page view right that means there are no other interactions from the user in their entire session right that means a user have visited our site and page loaded and thereafter he did not do anything else that means no requests were sent to server in that same session and those kind of sessions we call it as bounce now if you ask me to give you the right definition of bounce the definition of bounce rate is this for all sessions that start with a page bounce rate is the percentage that were the only one in the session I repeat, for all sessions that start with a page. Now, remember, there's a lot of difference between sessions and entrances. Sessions are always incremented on the first hit of the session, whereas entrances is always incremented on the first page view hit, right? That is exactly why you'll find a little bit difference between session and entrances, but we're not talking about that here. Here, for all sessions that start with a page, bounce rate is the percentage that were the only one in the session, and the textbook definition for exit rate is for all page views to a page exit rate is the percentage that were the last in the session, right? We will, we will look into these. Let's do some study now, right? So if you see, let's clarify the last one with a simple example. Your site has pages A through C. That means A, B and C and only one session per day exists with the following page view in order. Now, Monday, if I visit page A, then navigate to page B, then navigate to page C. Right, the day is over. On Tuesday, new session, same user might be. So I come to page B, that means I begin my session with page B, then go to page A, then go to page C. Day over, and on Wednesday, I begin my session with page A and then exit. Now, what happens if you go to analytics, all pages report, site content, all pages report, you'd find something like this, right? Now, how many page views for page A? One page view, two page view, and three page view, right? So in total, there were three page views that were recorded for the page A. One on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. Right. Now, you see, page A would show three page views and a bounce rate of 50%. You know why bounce rate of 50%? Because for session, for bounce rate, it does not take all the page views. It takes only those page views where the session began. Now, the total number of page views are three. But the total number of page views on which the session began was on Monday and Wednesday. On Tuesday, the session did not begin with page A. It, it began with page A.
page B. So this page view will not be taken, right? So only two page views will be counted into bounce rate calculation and out of which how many page views, you know, sessions which had the only one the session and this one, right? Here it is not a bounce because he went to other page. That means a user goes to other pages is not considered as a bounce. So from these three page views that were given to A, only two page views will be counted because these two page views are the page views where the session began. Out of these two page views, Wednesday was the session wherein only one page view existed. And that is why out of two, only one is considered. That's exactly why it is 50%. Now you might have guessed that the bounce rate would be 33%, right? But the Tuesday page view granted to page A is not considered in the bounce rate calculation because here page view was incremented, but session was not counted here because session began on page B. That's exactly what consider the bounce of the notion of a session with one interaction from the user and the session centric analysis. Did the session contain more than one page view? If the answer is no, then it's important to consider which page was involved in the bounce. If the answer is yes, then definitely it's not a bounce because a session with one page view is only considered as bounce. If the session contains other page views, it is definitely not considered a bounce. So you have to, you have to, you, you don't have to take all the page views into bounce calculation. You only take those page views where the session actually began. Right here, we don't take all the three page views into bounce calculation. We only take these two page views because these two page views on Monday and Wednesday will be calculated because on these days only session began with page A. Right now, let's extend this example to explore the exit rate as well. Exit rate, I told you, for all page views to a page, exit rate is the percentage that were the last in the session. Let's look at the same example and, and let's try and calculate the exit rate as well. Now, on Monday, the user came to page B, page A, page C, and exited. Tuesday page B exit, Wednesday page A, page C, page B exit, Thursday page C and exit, Friday page B, page C, page A and exit. Now, the bounce rate and exit rate calculations are as follows, right? First, let's, let, let's finish off uh, the, the, the bounce rate, right? Now, let's take page A. How many page views are given to page A? One, two, three. That means from Monday through Friday, page A recorded three page views. That means one on Monday, one on Wednesday, one on Friday, three page views, right? Out of which, how many sessions began with page A? Only on one day. Only this page view or this session is counted. So out of one and how many sessions had the only one page view like a page A? So here, nothing else. So only one page view is counted for bounced calculation and that too in that session, you have other, you know, hits. So the bounce rate for A would be 0%. Similarly, if you go with B, let's check how many page views were granted to B. 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So, 4 page views. But all the 4 page views will not be taken because for bounce rate calculations, only the page views where they were the first hit. Now, let's, or, or the session actually began. So, 4 page views, but 4 are not taken. So, it will only take Monday because session began here, session began here, and session began. So, it will take 3 page views. Out of these 3 page views, how many actually resulted in only that page view only one so out of three it will only take one so that would be out of three one moment page b yeah you see 33 percent out of three it will only take one so it is 33 percent now let's go with page c as well how many page views have got uh, been recorded for page c which is monday and wednesday two three and four out uh, four page views but all four page views are not counted for bounce rate only page views where they began a session. So let's check how many sessions began with page C. Only one. And exit. That means there was no other page. So it will say 100%. You see 100%. Similarly, let's take for exit rate. Now exit rate for all pages that begin, for all pages to a page, the percentage that was the last in the session. That's the actual exit rate definition, textbook definition. So let's come and check the exit rate as well. Now when you come to exit rate, exit rate now page A has got one page view, two page view. And three page views right now it takes all the page views to a page it does not take only those page views where the session began like bounce here it will take all the page views so how many page views were given to page a one two three and how many instances where that was the last only one so it says 33 percent out of three one now let's take a page b pay one two it says three and four for all page views to a page how many were the last in the session so i'm taking all four page views out of which how many were exited from page b one and two so out of four it says two so it says 50 percent 
similarly 50%, right? So this is how you actually calculate bounce rate. And again, bounce rate is heavily affected when you send non-interaction hits as true, right? Now, for example, if somebody comes to my uh, page and uh, session began and for next half an hour, he doesn't do anything else. So session gets terminated and next he sends a hit. That means for the next session, the first hit was the event hit. Session will still begin. Why? Session is not going to begin just when you, just because you get a page view hit. It will begin every time you get a hit. Here, the first hit is the event hit. So session still begins, right? So in those kind of cases, if that hit is going to be a non-interaction hit set to true, it will be taken into bounce rate calculation as well. Right? Thank you so much and, uh, and subscribe and watch other videos. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. Remember guys, these videos will be like this. They're very in-depth because we don't just want to scratch the surface of analytics. We want to go into analytics deeper and deeper. There's a lot of difference between reading and studying. Reading, you just do to become aware, but you study because you want to remember. So this lesson or this channel is more focused towards making you study and become a champion at using Google Analytics. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and please click on the notification icon below so that you'd be notified every time we post a new video on our channel. Thank you so much. Remember guys, choose career over course. Keep growing, keep learning. Thank you.